Now, I, I'm confused on why black people really have so much against white people. Y'all just gotta explore. Just because you came across one bad white person, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four, doesn't mean that every other white person you come across is gonna be the same as that white person. Everything that one of y'all just said is 100%, 1,000%, 20, 20 million percent incorrect. I mean, have y'all ever sat and actually talked to a common sense white person? What the heck? You people, you people need to be blessed with some goddamn holy oil. You. Twenty-four questions that black people got for you, white people. Oh my gosh, bro! The titles of these videos I've been reacting to is crazy. <laughs> it's obnoxious, bro. But go ahead and hit the like button, man. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Turn on post notifications. Also, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG. Without further ado, let's get to it, man. <laughs> Why do you always make such horrible decisions in horror movies? It's not cool to split up. Why do you freak out? You, you know what's crazy? I just think the same thing until I start to gain common sense and realize that, oh, wow, movies are scripted. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I don't know why the director made them do that. I, I don't know. I, I just really think the same thing, but honestly, if she was, I, I hope she was joking about that because if she was dead serious, like I used to be dead serious, like why do white people always make terrible decisions in movies? But then I was like, oh wow, movies are scripted. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't do that in real life. I'm pretty sure they're not going to split up in real life when a killer is among them. Like I'm pretty sure they're not going to do that. Okay, I'm pretty sure white people actually got common sense. Okay, but <laughs> come on, this horrible decisions in horror movies. It's not cool to split up. Why do you freak out when black people are cast to play white fictional characters? What's the big deal if Idris Elba plays James Bond? I would go see it twice. Why is a big butt and big lips considered attractive on a white woman, but they're unattractive on a black woman? Do y'all really- Huh? Whoever, whoever told you that? I, I don't even, I'm not even finna get into the whole movie theme that they was talking about because I hope they realize that movies are scripted and it don't matter who played what character or what. I mean, if the if the writer of the movie told a white person to play freaking Black Panther, I mean, who who cares? Who honestly cares? But hold on. Whoever told you that a big butt and big lips on a white woman is attractive and on a black woman is not? If, you, if somebody, I feel like big butt and lips is attractive, period, on any type of woman. I, I feel like these people is really just making this stuff up. Like, I honestly feel like these people is making this stuff up because <laughs> it's no common sense in this. You think, you think a person actually said, oh, wow, big lips and big butt on a white woman is way more attractive than a, big, than a black woman. No. Whoever told you that? Big butts and big lips to any guy is attractive on any type of woman. Asian, Hispanic. Come on, where are all my fellas at? You you telling me you like big butt and big lips on the black woman more than the white woman? I mean, they both the same to me. It's a big butt and big lips. I don't even like big lips really, but I'm saying big butt. I mean, come on now. We all fellas. Come on, man. You really think Miley is the one who created twerking? Really? Why am I supposed to teach you how to twerk? I don't know how to twerk. Why is it that white people yeah, we always can act as though they have discovered a new trend when people of color have been doing it for virtually years? Why is it when a black woman wears her hair natural, it's seen as inappropriate, but when a white woman does, it's praised? This is the hair. Who the bro? What school did y'all go told y'all this? Who, who honestly told y'all this? I am so confused right now. I kid y'all not. I was not coming into this video expecting none of this, okay? Expecting none of this. Honestly, I'm like dead, like I'm low-key confused right now. Cause I'm trying to figure out who told y'all this. Like y'all really making yourself look dumb. And I'm black. These ain't these ain't questions I was expecting for y'all to ask white people. I thought low-key y'all was gonna ask some crazy some crazy questions. These ain't even crazy. These are just non-common sense questions. Honestly. I'm just confused on who told y'all this. Wearing a black woman wearing their hair is inappropriate. A natural wearing their natural hair is inappropriate, but a white woman can wear their hair natural and it's not inappropriate. I mean, bro, natural hair is natural hair. Look at your hair, baby. I, I, honestly, I mean, you have beautiful black hair. If a white woman had the same hair, I mean, come on, it doesn't matter. Hair is hair. Y'all, bro, y'all need to grow up. I, I kid y'all not. I, I'm confused on why black people really have so much against white people. Why? I understand what they did to the ancestors. I get it. I understand that. But honestly, we are in 2022 and y'all still having the same hate for white people. 
And I'm pretty sure half of the white community don't even have that much hate for black people. Y'all just assume that what the what what the white people ancestors did to us, y'all just assume that every white person is the same. And same thing with white people. Y'all not excused either. Y'all feel like, I know half of y'all probably feel like the things that black people do, steal, kill, and all this, y'all feel like every black person is like that. Y'all think every black person that's out their pants or everything. Not saying all y'all, but some of y'all do. But some black people actually think the same thing about white people. They think that almost every white person is racist when they're not. I came across a plenty cool white people that's cool with black people. Y'all just y'all just got to explore. Just because you came across one bad white person, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four, doesn't mean that every other white person you come across is going to be the same as that white person. Same thing with black people. I mean, just because y'all came across one, maybe four black people that, you know, stole your purse or something, doesn't mean that another black person go do the same thing. Come on, man. We got to grow up, dude. I swear, we so divided, and it's all because of color. And it's black and white versus each other. It's I don't see black and I don't see black and Hispanics. I don't see black and Asians versus. It's always black and white, black and white. Like, bro, we still living in the freaking what 50, 60, whatever. I don't know. We still living in the past. Come on, man. We in the present. Natural. It's seen as inappropriate, but when a white woman does, it's praise. This is the hair that I was born with, so you wearing it as a trend is not cute. Like. What? Okay, I'm gonna stop pausing. Come on. Hey, can you appropriate my student loans? Can you take that off my hands? Why is it that white crime is seen as an isolated incident, but black crime is a representation of my entire community? When we see a story on TV about a white serial killer, I don't automatically assume that all white people must be serial killers too. Why does... <laughs> what? Why do y'all keep bringing up movies? This is it's scripted. It's, scri it's scripted. Um, it's scripted. What? What's oh, Lord. Save our country. It's, I swear. I swear. I, I thought I didn't have common sense at a young age. I mean, these are older people, older than me. Bro, I'm 19. These are like 20, 30 some year old people. I almost said kids. 30 some year old people. And they honestly thinking the way that I used to think. They thinking like a freaking 14 year old. Huh? Bro, it's all scripted. I mean, I feel like we shouldn't, we shouldn't, we shouldn't look at people just because the community of black people or white people do a certain thing. We shouldn't look at the rest of the community the same as we look at that one person. You know what I'm saying? You never judge a book by its cover. I could wear my head caught to the side. I could sag my pants all day long, but I could be the nicest person you ever came across. Honestly. I mean, come on, bro. We got to do better, dog. We got to really do better. We really got to do better, but come on. They talking about race now? Like, Does talking about race make you feel so uncomfortable? Is it because you think that you'll be perceived as racist if you talk about race? You don't really believe that racism is over because we have a black president, do you? Why is it so easy for you to notice when there are no white people around, but you hardly ever notice when there are no black people around? Why is your goal to be colorblind? And there's so many different types of people in the world, yet you can't see color? I'm done. I need you people. You people need to be blessed with some goddamn holy oil. Y'all need to really be just. Y'all need to be born again. This is ridiculous. This is honestly ridiculous. Everything that one of y'all just said is a hundred percent, a thousand percent, twenty twenty million percent incorrect. I mean, have y'all ever sat and actually talked to a common sense white person? Uh, let's be real. Have y'all ever actually sat and talked to a common sense white person? Because I can tell you this not right now. Half of my audience is majority white, but I also got black people too. And it's black people that agree with the things that I say because I speak nothing but the truth. But have y'all ever said, and I be reading my comments. I may not heart every single comment, but I definitely read my comments and I see how many common sense white people there is in America and how many actual common sense black people there is in America. Now, I do got a couple black people that come to my channel and hate. You know, I got even white people that come to my channel and hate on me. I had somebody write me a death message. Well, not really a death message, but it was a death message. He said he was going to hang me like a slave and all types of stuff. All types of crazy stuff. But guess what? It's, it's it that's that's just America for you, you know what I'm saying? But my whole thing is how y'all ever sat and actually talked to a common sense white person. I feel like y'all was given a paper and y'all read off of it and memorized everything off of it to say the stupid things that y'all said. Cause I'm black and I gotta, 
I I need I got to talk to y'all because this is ridiculous. I mean, I, bro, I was not expecting this. Y'all asking non common sense questions. <laughs> this is crazy. I thought y'all was gonna ask some funny questions like, like so just some stere some stereotype questions like, why can't y'all cook? Like, I mean, I, I would have laughed at that. I wouldn't even say nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? But y'all over here asking just questions that's like, what? Who raised you? <laughs> that's what I'm trying to. Who raised you? This is crazy. And, and y'all wonder why people think the y'all wonder why people think of black people the way they are. Cause we do we we say dumb stuff. Not all, but some of us say dumb stuff and we do dumb stuff. Some of us. Not all of not all black people do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all seen a video when the black people went inside of T Mobile and they stole they stole a whole bunch of phones that was this player. Hope y'all realize that you can't go nowhere without the phone. You can't do nothing without the phone. Cause the phone ain't on. I mean, I, it, but this is this is why people think the way, this is why people think that we're stupid. This is why we get treated the way we get treated because we say stuff like this and we do dumb stuff. I mean, I haven't seen a white person go inside T-Mobile and steal a display phone. <laughs> I'm just being real. Uh, we not even gonna get into that topic. Why do you want to say the N word so badly? If I don't use it. What makes you think you can? Why do you always want to touch our hair? Who told you it was okay to touch people without their permission? Why do you feel like having one black friend makes you a cultural expert or not a racist? Is your only black friend comfortable with being the reason why you can't be racist? By that logic, then I'm not racist. I have a ton of white friends. Why do you feel comfortable cursing at your parents? Why do you kiss your dog? It's so, it's so much I gotta say about everything that somebody just said. But I'm gonna just keep, I'm gonna just say it like this. First of all, I remember in the beginning, y'all just said, just because you see a serial killer, a white serial killer, doesn't mean you think everybody is a white serial killer. Just because you see one white person curse at their parents doesn't mean that you see a lot of other white per people curse at their parents. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure about ninety, maybe ninety percent, ninety percent of white people d never curse at their parents because they know they get slapped at their head. It's a lot of white parents out here that you would be like. You will say, oh, she black. She really got some black in her. Because, you know, black people, we 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 get a black guy and all that. But I'm pretty sure a lot of white people don't got their butt wool for even raising their voice one inch at their mother. I'm pretty sure. Just because we see this stuff on social media of white parent of white kids, and that's just the new generation of white kids. I don't know. I don't know how the people that's like 50, 60 and up did with their parents, but the, I see the new generation of white kids, they Mom, I don't like you. Like, I mean, honestly, I just be like, what the, what, what? If I said that to my mama, boy, I probably wouldn't even be here right now. I'd probably be six feet under. Probably been to heaven. You know what I'm saying? But that's just not every white person. Every white person don't just yell at their parents. I mean, let's be, like, come on now. I'm pretty sure every white person just don't yell at their parents. I'm pretty sure they don't feel like that's okay. You know? But everything else that y'all just said <laughs> is really just irrelevant. Why they want to say the N word so bad? Why they feel comfortable with touching people without their permission? I mean, dude, <laughs> what? I'm talking about if I don't say the N word, what makes it feel like you okay to say the N word? I'm pretty sure you. I'm pretty sure you done been around people that said the N word. The N word just a word. It's a word. <laughs> I mean, come on now. We not even go get into that topic. Y'all know how I feel about the N word. If Easy E. Easy E even said himself, another black legend, said himself, and I call him a legend because, you know, he made some good music and I, whatever, I don't know. Uh, I just say legends to everybody that died and that's that was older, you feel me, that's older than me, like Kobe, I feel like he was a legend. I didn't really watch none of his games, but I feel like he was a legend. But that's what's the point. Okay, Easy E even said himself in an interview years ago. I don't care if a white person come up to say, well, what's up, my, you know what? Now, if a white person walks up to Easy E and says, hey, Depends on how he said it. Like you say, what's up? Then that's cool. But they say, what's up? You know, then he says it's going to get pretty wicked. But he don't care if a white person say the N-word. I mean, but y'all honestly just care about this word so much. I mean, it it, it hurts y'all. It hurts y'all a little hard. It makes you sad. I don't care. It's on the mouth. How come you can't pronounce black names like Kuvan Janae, but can say names like Schwarzenegger, Galifianakis, and LaBeouf just fine? Why do you feel like all lions' lives matter, but black lives don't? Why is a lion's life in Africa more important than the lives of black people here in America? What did Simba ever do for you? I get it. Lion King was an awesome... What did we ever do for each other? 
What did black people ever do for black people? What did black people ever do for America? What did we do for each other? We didn't do nothing to help America. What did we do? But say stuff like this. What did, what did we do? What did white people do? We, we didn't do nothing. I don't think nobody did anything for America. Because if somebody did something for America, America won't be like this. I mean, y'all could bring up Don Martin Luther King. Y'all could bring up Malcolm X. Y'all could bring up all these older people, Rosa Parks and all. Y'all could bring up the um. Uh, I can't think of the name right now, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Y'all can bring up all these people, but honestly, America is still bogus. I'm just being real. America is still bogus. The only person that can save America is Jesus. Only person. I feel like if everybody became Christian, if everybody uh, went to Jesus, if everybody actually believed, I mean, America probably could be 10 times better, but no, we depend on people to make America better. Can't depend on people. Cause guess what? People don't change themselves before they could change America. Awesome movie. But so was Selma, and so was Malcolm X. Why is it so hard for you to acknowledge your privilege? How does it feel to not be the spokesperson for your entire race at any given time? Must be nice. I'm off this video. No, I'm not subscribing. No, I'm not. No, I'm I'm not. I am not subscribing. No. Heck, you know. Heck, you know. This, this video... It's honestly ridiculous. It's honestly ridiculous. And bro, this is not me. No, this is me being dead serious. Y'all need help. On y'all need serious help. These are the questions that y'all really have for white people. Y'all have two minutes worth of these questions. Oh my gosh. Anyways, man, I'm off this video. I hope you guys enjoy my reaction to it. Not the video, my reaction to the video. Hit that like button, subscribe. This and you know, actually, I'm gonna just do a whole podcast on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna go ahead and do the podcast. I'm just do a whole podcast. I'm gonna just talk about all this stuff, okay? So stay tuned for the podcast. I'm posted on this channel. Don't know when, but it's gonna get posted someday, one day, okay? <laughs> Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. It's been your boy, the pen. I love each and every one of y'all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for 41.2k. Probably hit 41.3 while this video going up, but thank you for 41k, man. I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.